the weapon that sank more Russian warships than ever. They've blown holes in Russian's Black Sea fleet, hunted warships in broad daylight, and even shot down fighter jets. They're small, fast and deadly, and they don't need a pilot. Ukrainian naval drones once a secret project, now a symbol of innovation. The very first task, that is a full blockade of the Black Sea fleet, is successfully accomplished. The fleet is absolutely non-functional. It just exists. If, let's say, third parties were involved in helping Russia, this drone could be used outside the Black Sea, and not only for destroying the Black Sea fleet, or even the entire Russian Navy. It is ready for this. From attacking Russian warships to blocking ports and redefining naval strategy, these and manned surface whistles are changing everything. Today we'll break down how they work, and they made, and what Russia can or cannot do about them. My name is Roman Smoller. Subscribe to the channel so you'll never miss our new analysis and help Ukrainian voice to be heard. So let's start. Ukraine began developing naval drones in early 2022 after realizing that traditional naval power was not an option against the Russian fleet. The first known use was in October 2022, when drones attacked Russia's Black Sea fleet in Sevastopol. It was just experimental mission. Mikhail Fedorov, Ukrainian Minister of Digital Transformation of Ukraine, said that sea drones operate far behind enemy lines. There are attack drones, kamikaze drones and hundreds of other developments. To help the armed forces, we launched the Army of Drones project. Thousands of reconnaissance and strike drones have been purchased and invented, and our work in this field continues. Today, one of our priorities are unmanned surface and underwater vehicles. This can protect the Black Sea waters from constant acts of terrorism by Russia. Ukraine's drones are developed in cooperation with domestic and foreign companies. They have speed of up to 80 km per hour. The range is over 800 km, which covers the entire Black Sea zone. The payload is 200-300 kilos of explosives. They are navigated with the artificial intelligence and can be connected via satellite or Starlink. Let's remind where it all began, the drone strike that changed modern naval warfare. Back in October 2022, Ukraine carried out the first ever drone-only naval strike on Russia's Black Sea fleet, a historic moment reported by multiple outlets. Among others, successful missions are partial damage of the Kerch Strait Bridge in July 2023, sinking of the Russian warship Ivanovets near Crimea in February 2024, Attack on the Sergei Kotov patrol ship in March 2025. Building naval drones fleet is one of Ukraine's strategies. Ukraine's sea drones allow to hit enemy where he thinks is safest, exactly in harbors of Russian fleet. And just this summer, Ukraine pushed the limits even further. It was the world first using naval drones to take down enemy aircraft. Head of Ukraine's defense intelligence said it was historic moment. Russia's dominance in the Black Sea has been severely reduced. Shipping via the Black Sea corridor used for grain exports is now available again thanks to drone operations keeping Russian warships at bay. Ukraine uses drones not only for attack, but also for reconnaissance and deception. The Ukrainian naval officer in interview with Radio Liberty stated that Ukraine managed to push back the Russian Black Sea fleet. Ukraine's approach flipped with naval playbook. Big, expensive ships are now easy targets for cheap kamikaze drones. Sea drones are giving Ukraine an asymmetric advantage. Like what hammers did on land, these drones are doing at sea. Naval drones allow a relatively low-budget military to cause high-cost disruption. Let's take a look on sea drone components. It has low-profile lightweight body, commercial jet ski motor. Its payload consists of shaped explosive charge and contact detonator.
This is a revolution in naval warfare. Never before have low-budget nations defeated a navy like Russia's at sea, not with submarines or jets, but with remote-controlled speedboats. Ukraine has shown that naval power can be asymmetrical, dominance at sea can be challenged by innovation, and legacy fleets are vulnerable to 21st century tech. Russia has started placing floating barriers, nets and sonar devices in key ports. However, many of these have been bypassed by upgraded drones. Russian propaganda claims it's destroying hundreds of drones, but evidence is lacking. And Ukraine often adapts faster. With every mission, Ukrainian naval drones are proving that size doesn't matter, strategy does. They are not just weapons, their message, the age of remote warfare, has reached the waves. And this story isn't over. With new upgrades, longer ranges and even air defense capabilities, the next chapter of this drone war is already being written. If you found this breakdown useful, hit that like button, subscribe so you don't miss the next deep dive on frontline tech. And as always, thanks for supporting Ukrainian coverage. Be brave like Ukraine. See you soon.